in this video we're going to focus on the line caps in the canvas and this is very important because the line caps controls basically the ending of our line and that is very nice because we can do some nice tricks with that so first of all let's create three different lines here so you can easily see what's going on so the first thing what i will do is i'll just comment this out or we can remove this we don't need this anymore and next what we're going to do is we're going to create some lines here so we can easily see that so what we're going to do here we have this line here all right and then what i will say here this will be just the starting point will be 100 pixels and then here 100 pixels and what we will make here is we're going to make this line or the line width of 250 so that means that 150 pixel in width but we keep the height at the same position so if i save this refresh we have this line here what i want to do now is i want to add up two more lines so you can compare all these options so put in here and then again and then here instead of 100 we'll just convert to 200 and we have this one here sorry this should be 300 so next what i want to do here is just because we have here different colors or at least one color and what i want to do here just to show you in different colors so we can just put in some colors i'll just say here 54 and then what i'm going to do here 162 and finally 235 just to use the colors that we have and then here 75 192 and finally we have here again 192 save that refresh now we have three different lines here with three different colors so what we want to do here now is basically control the ending and the default ending on the line cap is basically well there are three options here so let me explain those options so there is first of all there is a dot which basically means a line that's being cut and there will be nothing added to which is the default this is basically considered the default situation for us so that's very important secondly what there is here's another one it's called the rounded or round round item which basically can be considered as what we call a rounded border or border radius border radius style because it looks more rounded and finally what we have as well is what we call a square square option and what does the square option does is basically giving the shape a extra space or an extra square on top of it all right so this will be adding square what I'm going to do here now, just to show you all these options, I'm going to put in here enter. And then what we're going to say here, CTX dot line cap, with capital C, that equal dot. And this here, of course, will not change much or won't change at all because this is the default value. So if I copy this, I'm going to put this here in the next one. And then here we're going to say round. If I save that, refresh you can see here now it becomes round and then next finally here if i copy this put it in there and what we want to do now is instead of here round i want to convert this into a square save that and refresh so if you look very carefully and let's extend the size of this to 30 30 and 30 save that and refresh you can see here now this one doesn't increase in size while the others here will increase a little bit how much exactly well it depends on the line width x amount of pixels how it's being calculated so basically here about 15 pixels are being used because they will calculate the line width divided by two same here about 15 pixels has been added up here and on this side as well so this is very important because with this you can imagine you can make maybe a bar that has a nice rounded effect. 